All right, you wonderful people. Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I am working on a motor control board slash power board for a Alter G treadmill. So this is for a treadmill, very typical of uh, treadmill power supplies. You know, this is not a three-phase motor. It looks like this is a two-phased uh, brush DC motor. And it's gonna control its speed with pulse width modulation. So let's go ahead and take a look at this power supply. I'll show you some of my observations and show you exactly how I know what's going on with it. Okay, so first off, you can see I removed it from its chassis, and um, obviously one of the things that we have to do is release the MOSFETs from the heat sink, and you can see that does not look healthy. The thermal compound, whatever thermal conductivity it had, is clearly gone, and that immediately makes me suspect because one of the things that happened on this board is we had an open fuse. So if you have an open fuse, something shorted, guaranteed. All right, so let's look at the intricacies of this board. You can see right here, it's got multiple power taps. It is a 220 volt power board, and you can see it's it's got multiple bridge rectifiers. So I've got, uh, let's see, I've got bridge one, I got another one over here, bridge two, and let's see, where was the other one? Let's see, one, two. Well, you have to trust me, there's three of them on there. I don't know why I can't find the third one right now. So anyway, there's, there's definitely at least three different power phases on here. And obviously, the big boy is gonna be the one that's powering your motor and your MOSFETs right here. And you notice, I have one of my MOSFETs off the board. All right, that would be the one that was most suspect. You can see a slight bit of heating on the trace, and we have some residue, which usually indicates some sort of fluid, but uh, I think this is just maybe some extra flux. And let's see. Oh, I don't think that, yeah, you can see on this side, right over by those MOSFETs, there is definitely some residue on there and we we have examples of heat so that's exactly where I'm gonna start everything else looks pretty good right so on the back side of this guy we take a look at this MOSFET right here and uh, for that I'm gonna have my multimeter on continuity mode and this is gonna be really interesting so you're gonna test from here to here and then you're gonna reverse your uh, your leads, and then you'll see if it beepity beeps, which shows that you have a dead short. This one here showed that it was absolutely fine. I go to the other bridge rectifier, and these bridge rectifiers work in pairs, so it's kind of like a push and pull type of configuration. So this one here is going to be the exact opposite of this one here, right? And you can actually see your uh, high voltage DC rails right here, so definitely be careful if you just pulled this off a machine, you will get your ass lit, all right? So be careful. These right here are very large caps, but mind you, they're already discharged. All right, so when it came to this MOSFET right here, I had dead short, dead short, reverse leads, dead short, dead short. Then I go to the third pole, and I had dead short to dead short, reverse the leads, dead short to dead short. So once that happens, then you have to pull the component off the board, right? So if you if you have a dead short on a semiconductor, pull it off the board, and then you can test it independently of everything else. And that's why I have this guy here. And there we go. Okay, so you can see I'm, I'm shorted across my leads. I wish I had a better setup so I could show you guys, but you get the point, right? So I, I have dead shorts across all the leads. At this point, it, it's not even worth going into diode mode, but as an example, I did put it into diode mode and I went to the next MOSFET over here and you can see the difference that is when you switch the polarity. Um, so this guy right here is not a short, it is functioning. And of course, whenever you have a malfunctioning component and some heat damage, you're gonna go to the local components and you're gonna check those out as well. These ones all checked out, the, the diode, the resistors, and this little cap right here. Everything's fine. 
Um, discharge this guy right here. So I have a malfunctioning dead short capacitor or uh, MOSFET. And this little guy right here, let's see, is a G4 PSC 71 UD. It's 150P. So anyway, uh, this guy right here is my problem child. Part of the reason that he probably went bad is overheating. So you can see my thermal compound on this guy. It is no bueno, okay? So it's definitely uh, got a problem. So we are going to replace this component. We are gonna clean this guy, this guy, and my large bridge, there it is. See, I knew there was three bridges on this guy. And we're gonna clean the thermal compound on this guy and we're gonna put it back together and should be good to go.